Hey, greetings everyone and welcome back to another episode of Plan B Success. How many times have you heard someone say to you, be your authentic self, follow your purpose, share value, bring value. These are some common adages that we keep hearing nowadays where everybody who's out there to spread a message or talk about a message uses these terms frequently. And I think that's one of my biggest pet peeves. When people say, bring value, be your authentic self, what do they really mean by it? You know, when you're telling somebody to do that, You also have to look at the possibility that if somebody is in a confused state or if somebody is in a state where you have to tell them to be authentic, to follow their purpose, to be their true self, to be their real self, to bring value to other people in order to make sure that they spread their message, that these people do not know where they stand. They don't understand what being authentic is. There's a lot of people out there who do not know what their purpose is. It's not like you wake up one day and you know what your purpose is. Purpose is something that's built over a period of time. When you do self-introspection, when you learn more about yourself, you could have a 20, 22-year-old talking about purpose. You could have a 40, 45-year-old talking about purpose as well. But you figure out your purpose over time. If you're one of the lucky few who's figured out what their purpose in life is and are ready to dedicate the rest of your life pursuing that purpose, well, that's great. But how deep do you know your purpose? How much time have you spent introspecting and figuring out the depth of your purpose? How much time have you spent figuring out what your true strengths are, who you really are, what your true self is, who do you really want to be, to be comfortable with your own self first before you're able to exude that confidence to the world? And I think that's important. When you tell somebody to make sure that they follow their purpose, it's also important to check on what their purpose is. There's a lot of people, like I said, who do not know what their purpose is, and it's important to work with them on their journey to figure out their purpose, to realize their purpose, to realize their strengths, to realize their likes and dislikes, so that they are comfortable and confident of what they know And now that they know what their purpose is, now that they know what they like, now that they know what their strengths are, now you take them to the next level as to how to work on these skills, how to work on these strengths, how to work on their purpose in order to expound it better, in order to expand it better, in order to be able to make an impact where they can inspire others to do the same, which is follow their purpose. So that's important. The second thing is share value. What do you mean by share value? Is a post, a story, a tweet sharing value? Not really. Value is much more deeper. Value is where you have done something that's made a shift in your life and now you're asking others to listen to you, to look at what you've done and the shift that it's made in your life and see if it can make a similar shift in their life. Probably not similar, but there could be tweaks that they can do or that they can make to things that you have done in order to make sure that they custom design it for themselves and they see the results themselves in their lives before they again expound it to the world in order to create value for others so that they can improve their lives as well. So it's a chain reaction here. So all these Terms, the cool terms that are out there, be authentic, be yourself, bring value, they mean zilch, nothing, if you don't look at a person from their personal perspective. Where do they stand in that entire continuum, in that entire line of life for what it is? Are they hungry for the next meal? You go to a guy or a girl who's hungry for the next meal and talk about being authentic self, talk about bringing value, it means nothing to them. What it means to them is zero. What would be meaningful for them is if you can help figure out where the next meal is going to come from. For one, you could be the one who's sponsoring their next meal. But a better thing after that would be to give them 
the skills, to teach them the skills to do their own fishing, to teach them the skills to fish for themselves. And that's important. You know, the larger terms, the more mystic terms of being authentic, being your true self, really don't hold value when you've got somebody who's fighting for their next meal. You've got to solve for that first and then give them the time and effort to think through their own self, their own situation, and how best can they benefit from the knowledge that you expound. So that's why it's important that each person be treated differently, each person's personal situation be reviewed, and then slowly but surely you bring them to the point where all that you have to share in terms of purpose, in terms of value, in terms of being your authentic self, really makes sense and makes a difference in their life. That's how important it is before we are out there expounding things around purpose, mission, value, and authenticity. Hey, I hope you liked that episode. Please make sure that you share Plan B Success Podcast with your friends and family so that they might benefit from this content as well. By the way, if you're interested in podcasting and want to learn everything that is there to know about podcasting, I have recently launched my top podcast mastery program, which is available on my website, www.rajeevmudumba.com. Go there, check it out. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.